right guys, B's and G's. Um, this is my Brett Pale Ale. I haven't been drinking on this much, um, but I haven't really talked about it much either, but we'll sit down and we'll talk about it. WLP 645. Galaxy Hops. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Pretty good stuff. Ah, tonight's Tuesday night. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Thursday's Thanksgiving. So this is the Homebrew Wednesday before Thanksgiving. All right. Pretty anticlimactic. Something like that. All right. So. So, so, so. Um. Well, beer. Let's talk about this. This right here is DKN. So it's Dropkick Nate. All right. And this is, I've had this on tap now for a while. Um, I brewed it. I didn't say anything about it until I wanted to get a couple bottles shipped out. So I got a bottle shipped out to Nate and a bottle shipped out to uh, Brad. And so now, here it is. It's, uh, I call it Brett Kick Nate. So, it's good stuff. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, so basically, it's it's 100% uh, dropkick Nate, other than the yeast. It's uh, WLP 645, uh, Brett C, from White Labs, right? And uh, it's pretty good. Um, so, I have nothing going on. Um, I kegged my hop experiment beer. Um, I'm not really going to say a whole lot about it yet, but I um, got it kegged. It's carved. It's ready to go. I might go pull a pint, a little bit of taster of it, just to show you guys the color. But yeah, I'll go do that now. All right, I'm back. So this, this is it. Get to turn this around so you guys can see the color. It's pretty clear. Um, I did put some jello in it, gelatin in it, so it's, this is the second, uh, second pull I've on it, I've, uh, pulled off of it. I've got one pint in this one, so it's still got a little bit, a little bit of gelatin haze in there, so it's not bad. But it's got a nice little head. It smells, I really dig the smell on it. But I'll, I'll talk about it later. I'm not going to do a review here. Uh, Home Recon 2017. Alright. So really, that's all I've done. I've kegged. I'm thinking about maybe trying to get a brew in this weekend. But, I doubt it. And I'll probably just chill out and not do much of anything. Um, I can't talk, so. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I got the uh, experiment beer kegged. Um, Everyone should have their beer shipped to me uh, by Saturday, December 2nd. So, that's so I can turn around and have them shipped back the um, 16th. So, that's where we're at with that. So, I'm boring. Boring! I know. Um, but yeah, next beer I'm going to throw down is going to be gonna be a good one I gotta make a starter I got some yeast I can't decide um, Ryan Lewis Lubaru Haze Nation hashtag Haze Nation sent me some sent me some um, haze yeast I'm thinking maybe about using that but I've also got a pack of 644 that I may use I don't know both of them really need to have starters made you kind of grow both of them <coughs> excuse me got a thing going on here drink through it This ended up um, about just under five and a half percent in uh, DKN. Brett Kick Nate BKN ended up. I think it's just under five percent. Yeah, pretty good drinkers. Pretty good drinkers.
All right, guys. I'm going to get out. I'm done. Um, oh, I do have some video to show you guys. I used the uh, bouncer. Um, I bought a few things on the Amazon. Um, let's see. I got five 15 ounce uh, stainless steel cups, shakers style, whatever. That's just so I can put in like hop additions and, and water additions and stuff like that for brew days. Organize that instead of um, buying red solo cups and just tossing them, right? So, environmentally sound. They're stainless. So, good stuff. 18.8 stainless. Um, I also bought um, the uh, <coughs> the finer mesh bouncer <coughs> uh, filter. So I got that, and that also comes with another red one, the coarse one. <coughs> so, excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, I got all that done. So I used the bouncer when I when I kegged my experiment beer, which I had seven ounces, no, five ounces of dry hops in that. And it clogged up the blue one. Um, it was a wreck. It no match for the hops. Um, so I cleaned that out. I put it back. It clogged it again. Cleaned it out. And I put the red one in it. And I went from there. So it's still pretty clear. There's still some stuff in that. But it's not too bad. But anyway, still love Bouncer. It's awesome stuff. Um, really, when it comes to beers, when you got a lot of... Um, when you got a lot of hops in it and you want to use the bouncer you should probably use two uh, one with a red filter in the beginning run in the series red filter in the beginning uh, blue filter after that and um, you should be fine but anyway yeah just looking at these little dots these little sprues that's where they inject the rubber that's where the rubber goes into the molds I know I'm a nerd. All right, guys. That's cavity 31. See, 31. That's probably cavity 31 of the mold. Maybe you guys, you can thank me later. All right, guys. Peace. Cheers. I'm going to keg this uh, today. You can see all that green stuff's all hop um, particulate. So I've put in, let's see here, uh, five ounces of dry hops. Um, and you can see the yeast cake under that. So. We're gonna get to it. Let's see, there's just over five gallons in there, which is fine. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna get to it here in a few. So, still a lot of hops on the top of that, but we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and do this thing. Um, this will be three weeks in primary. Three weeks, maybe two weeks. I think it's, no, it's three weeks. I don't know, maybe two weeks, I don't know. But anyway, it's gonna go ahead and uh, get put in keg. Smells awesome. Smells like uh, it's like a faint. I don't know the camera's going crazy here. There's a faint vanilla. Um, it's really spicy. Um, there's a huge kind of green tea flavor to it, but in kind of like unripened strawberries, maybe. All right. Anyway, let's go. So here's my current setup. So I've got beer in. I've got bouncer on I just got the uh, the small filter the smaller micron filter so we're going from there um, so since I've got the larger auto siphon and the uh, barbs are for the smaller auto siphon really so I've got a piece of half inch uh, silicone with the uh, smaller tubing pushed in and all that good stuff but anyway that's it guys that's it um, I so far love bouncer it's a awesome product I um, just wish I would have had some soon well <laughs> I uh, stopped up my blue one twice, so I had to switch over to the red. But this is when I really need two bouncers, one with the red, then go through a secondary with the blue. But anyway. So that's the aftermath. Um, big yeast cake and a lot of dry hops in there, so. Excuse me. Burped. I got it kegged. Right now it's... it's um, Sitting on 30 psi um, tomorrow. I open it up. I'll go ahead and dump some gelatin in there just to uh, just to clear out a little bit more. But anyway, yeah, for now. So just real quick, um, this is what I pulled out of the coarse filter. Um, so yeah, you can see how you can see what clogged up the uh, the blue one real quick. But anyway, um, yeah. So if you're gonna get one, um, advice. 
probably from for me and definitely probably Tyler Everson, um, um, Josh Hoover, Man Bear Pig, maybe whoever, probably Nate. They probably all tell you to get two. Uh, use the blue filter in the uh, second one. Run them in series. Run the red filter in the first one. Uh, run it into the blue filter, and um, yeah, you can get rid of all that stuff. But anyway, that's it, guys.